Hi, welcome to Wayne Crush's Medley of Mandolins. This video will give you a brief overview of the many instruments that make up my family of mandolins. My educational program offers an historical look at the mandolin, traveling through the ages and many genres of music, complemented by show and tell and play. As I discuss the rich history as part of my lecture, I showcase many vintage and unusual instruments in the mandolin family and perform brief snippets of music from each period. In the next few minutes, you can enjoy an overview of the many instruments that are featured in my program. The program runs 60 to 90 minutes and is ideal for libraries, schools, and other lecture programs. Okay, this is uh, an Italian turn of the century Neapolitan mandolin, round back or tater bug. Uh, this is where it all started. Okay, this is a 1916 Gibson A4 blackface. Uh, I'll bring this close. You can see the beautiful inlaid tuning pegs that Gibson used for a number of years or from Germany, handled tuners. This is a 1930s Dobro brand mandolin. Dobro made all types of instruments with the resonators and indeed they also made mandolins. Okay, this is my Gibson H4 1919 Mandola. Beautiful cherry finish, uh, maple back, double flower pot on the headstock. Uh, probably my most prized instrument and one of the sweetest. Okay, this peculiar instrument is a banjo lin. It's a combination mandolin, banjo. Uh, probably made in the early 1900s. No name, but beautiful, elaborate uh, workmanship on here. And uh, you could probably keep up with any Dixieland band with this. This is a 1929 Gibson F2 mandolin, beautiful cherry finish, uh, maple back, in extraordinary condition, and a recent purchase. And to my surprise and delight, um, this I, I realized after the purchase, this mandolin was owned by David the Dog Grisman, and he actually signed underneath the cover plate. A uh, very special part of my collection. This is an 
octave mandolin by Weber. It's a full octave, lower than a mandolin, much longer neck. Used a lot in Celtic music and folk music. This is a, a song I wrote called Chloe's Song, just part. <laughs> custom mandolin mandola hybrid made by Chris Mirabella. Um, it's between the two instruments as in like a violin and a viola and it's tuned accordingly D A E B. Flatiron F5 mandolin, uh, beautiful maple. This was the last year before Gibson bought them out. And these are the instruments with the F holes that are used mostly for bluegrass because they, they got a real good what they call chop. This is an intro to Bill Monroe's Rabbit in a Log. completes my demonstration of a lot of the instruments that are featured in my program, Wayne Crush's Medley of Mandolins. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you.